Welcome back. So today we're going to quickly go over the Tin Hi-Fi T1S. So the T1S is uh, sort of the follow-on to the T1 Plus. Uh, everything is actually labeled T1 Plus if we look closely. So um, they didn't really spend a ton of time uh, worrying about packaging or changing shells. They sort of made some tweaks to it and repackaged it. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this. They obviously didn't spend a ton of time on uh, doing the packaging or updating anything, but I do want to thank Hi-Fi Go for uh, sending this one to me and for supporting me throughout the year with new sets to review. So many thanks to Hi-Fi Go. Do uh, check them out. So here's the gist of, of Tin Hi-Fi's T1S. Um, so quite a bit of mid-bass and not really enough treble. It's really just kind of a warm, dark set. It's, uh, I would say it's quite likable, but really um, a little too polite here, a little too dark. Uh, this is certainly going to appeal to people who don't like a whole lot of treble, who like quite a mid bassy set. Uh, that is pretty much what they were targeting by the signature. So let's quickly walk through some thoughts on this one. So like I said, it actually is it's quite likable. I mean, there's no peakiness, there's no fatigue to it, so it has this likable, warm, you know, bassy sound to it. Like I said, non-fatiguing, but it's just not going to score all that well on you know any metrics just because of how dark it is and, and kind of that level of treble is just not really enough to carry through a natural sound through the upper treble. So sound-wise, it is kind of warm and dark, uh, not much upper treble at all, but you know, for me, that would be better than a fatiguing set, but um, this one is just very hard to be engaging and dynamic when the treble is just that low and has this dark overtone to it. Um, just hard to really get involved with this set or sound dynamic. It's it's very um, kind of weighed down. So the bass, as I said, mid bass is quite there. Sub bass kind of rolls off. Um, that it'd be better if they balanced out those two a little better, and I thought that's what they were supposed to do with the S over the plus, but I think it pretty much measures just as the plus did in the bass area. Um, so yeah, it'd be good if there was two were balanced, it would sound a little more natural. The mids, you know, they, they're pretty good for okay casual list for casual listening, especially if you don't have another set to A B. They send they tend to sound a little likable. As soon as you listen to another set next to it, it will sound quite dark and you're missing a lot of the upper end. So yeah, it's kind of okay for the casual listener. Um, it's a very nice light set. The shells are actually super tiny and kind of weightless. So um, I'm not sure I'm a fan of the generic faceplate like that, but uh, comfort wise and shell wise, weight wise, you know, it's actually very comfortable, um, especially very comfortable for a casual user. Um, it does need quite a bit of volume to come forward on the vocals just because of the bass is kind of a little elevated and there's not a whole lot of treble. So I do tick up the volume quite a bit um, just to get enough pin of gain um, so it sounds uh, somewhat reasonable. Lots of bleed. The stage is quite small. There's just not really enough working in favor of the mids. And it just feels kind of sluggish and weighty. And, um, you know, you can kind of go over this uh, two or three times, but you kind of end up in the same position of this is a little bit too elevated. They kind of tried to put a little detail and a little lower treble so things sound somewhat natural. But then this rolls off and the level in general is just way too dark. So um, that is what it is and that's what they put out. So um, can't really talk too much about that other than what they sent so treble wise there was some lower treble but mostly went just way over polite uh, resulting in this really dark tone sort of sounds like a lot of the upper treble is missing um, unless you turn it up you know quite a bit and like i said the stage is mostly between your ears it's just not helping anything you know that was could have been you know something that they reworked going with the S version or with a plus, but I have a feeling that they didn't really think about that or even spend too much time on this one. So that is enough time for me to spend on this one as well. So thank you guys again for tuning in and I will see you next time.